Welcome back to the Daily Wrap. It's time for Yay or Nay. There is no life I know to compare with your imagination living there. You know, <laughs> delicious. people talk about the best actors of every decade. Gene Wilder's the top five he, uh, of the 1970s. He owned, he had a nice little run. And thank God, thank you, Control Room or producer, whoever decided to put that Willy Wonka on and not that ridiculous one with Johnny Depp. <laughs> All right? Uh, That's not our yay or nay. How many of you have wished you could do that, actually drink coffee and then eat the cup when you were a kid? Well, now you can. All thanks to KFC, of all places, who just launched the world's first edible coffee cup. That's true. Do we have B-roll? Sure we do. We have B-roll of uh, KFC. Boy, it looks warm there. The coffee cups, called Scoffy Cups, are made out of a unique biscuit, then wrapped in a sugar paper and lined with a rich, creamery layer of chocolate that <coughs> melts over time, allowing you to eat it when you're done with your coffee. Edible Coffee Cups Day Briggs, yay or Nate. I'm absolutely well, yay, but coffee. I don't know if it could be coffee like this. Can the camera shoot the color <laughs> of this coffee? It's, that it's, is one, sick let me up see in there. I, I mean, it is. It's a light, light. There light. it is. That is not coffee. It, it, Sorry to change the, the subject. It, but, but, <laughs> so you're not judgmental about the cups, but you're judgmental about, about the coffee. The coffee that goes in I got it. it. Now, Everyone has their lines. I love the uh, edible coffee cup, especially if I can have a double down from KFC. Mm -hmm. Before the edible cup, and that's the double uh, down. Two patties heart sandwiched attack. with bacon, Cake. cheese, and sauce. Heart that to me is a perfect meal. <laughs> yay! <laughs> I say heck yay. Heck yay! First of all, it's a really great marketing ploy because they want to make a lot of money off their coffee. Coffee sells, and they're not known for it. Good way to do it. Mm. Um, and you know why not? Because I, I always have Seattle's coffee with fried chicken. Coffee. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's phenomenal. Coffee, fried chicken. It just mm. comes right to your mind, right? Mm -hmm. Natural. <laughs> Particularly when you put lots of cream and lots of sugar on it, well, like Mr. Black does from Pulp Fiction. That's why There you go. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. Anyway. I'm a big yay also. I mean, look, it's a bad idea for people who are built like me. But in <laughs> principle, we have those spoons you can stir coffee with made of chocolate. So now go with the cup. Right? I, I, why not? Little drop of joy. Right, yeah. people are into it. It's fun, coffee, yeah. chocolate. We're, we're Where's five the downside? Bucks for a cup of coffee. We might as well get a little snack. Get a little extra, something a little out extra. of it, right? Yeah. I can't yeah. wait until I go to KFC in Miami and it's a 95 degree day and I drink my coffee and it melts as I'm trying to eat it. It's just going to be. <laughs> it's going to lead to some sort of lawsuit. I can see it. Anyway, a new study out of Sweden shows a connection between heavy drinking and low IQs in young men. Who knew? Oh man. Well, look how Dave Briggs turned out and the rabbi yeah. for that matter. So. <laughs> I already call bupkis on this uh, on this study. Anyway, they they studied, believe it or not, fifty thousand Swedish men, boy, uh, that showed that men with lower results on their IQ tests consumed higher levels of alcohol. It took fifty thousand Swedes to get to that conclusion. <laughs> However, a two thousand ten <laughs> from the London School of Economics claimed that the cleverest, if that's a word, women are the heaviest drinkers finding that women who performed exceptionally in school as children are more likely to drink daily as adults. Jenny Crumpton. So here's the question. Should the men of the Daily Wrap no longer go to happy hour before, obviously, and after every show to help bump our IQs, yay or nay, Rabbi? I'm sorry. I had a hard time following all that. Yeah. Basically, <laughs> we drink, we get dumber, chicks do it, they get smarter. Sounds good, good to me. Mm -hmm. I think I'm a big thumbs up. Boom. It's not even yeah or nay. It's thumbs up or down. Go ahead. Well, everybody's wittier when they're drunk. I mean, that's just true. <laughs> yeah. And the guy that was, you know, the head of my class in high school and the class above me, big drinker, big pot smoker, too. Right. Brilliant. And witty. So. Did you date him? Because that's kind of a flirtatious nostalgia that you're having here. I did not, but I wished I could be more like him. Okay. So, hence, I started drinking a nightly glass of red wine. Wow. One day I'm going to dig into your past on the show. <laughs> I firmly believe I would have gone to Duke had I not been such a heavy drinker, so it clearly made me a state school guy. May maybe Keith <laughs> Oberman didn't drink as a young man, and that's what made him go wow. to Cornell. Yeah, that's what he's, he's, so he's still angry about. That's what he's still angry about. His childhood denied. Yeah, Briggs did not go wit. to Penn State. I believe he is a Buffalo. Well, the University. 
Colorado of buff. Colorado. Drank right. too much during and before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, they're, now they're part of the Pacific 12, even though they're about a thousand miles away from the coast. Anyway, Mein Kampf, the book having once served as an unofficial Nazi Bible, has been banned from domestic reprints since the end of World War II. Well, that's a good thing. Well, they'll soon be returning to German bookstores. Okay, the historical society behind Funding the reprints argues it will be a great academic tool and will not pose any danger. The timing is a bit peculiar because of the rise of anti-Semitism. Uh, we're now seeing in Europe, reprinting Mein Kampf, yay or nay, Jenny Crumpton. My instinct is nay. Um, however, if you don't really know the details of your dark past, mm -hmm. we're doomed. So. Rabbi, quick yay or nay. Hearts a nay, heads a yay. Banning books, bad idea. Yeah. Dave? I am right with you on that, Reverend. I agree on both behalves. Okay. Yeah. I am, how do you say yes in German? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. yeah for the, what those guys said. Anyway, that's our show for the evening. Panel, thank you. Thank I you. appreciate it. And thank you all for tuning in. Hope you catch us tomorrow night at 6 p.m. For more Daily Wrap, I'm Joe Conscious saying bye-bye. <laughs>